Hi, I'm Nick with Hay Needle, and today I'm going to walk you through the simple steps of assembling your brand new Casey Daybed. Let's get started. The first step is to unpack all of the parts and take an inventory by comparing all the parts in the box with the parts list on the directions. Please remember when you're cutting the tape not to cut too deeply as you may damage the parts inside. Once you've taken inventory of all your parts, it's time to move on to step one, which is attaching this wooden block, which is number 14 on the list, to the side of your KC daybed. A couple things to note, the tools you'll need to complete this project are one, a not included Phillips head screwdriver and this included Allen wrench. Another important piece, I like to keep my smaller parts organized by taking a chunk of the foam that's included with the packing and organizing all the screws, wooden dowels and such. Okay, for step one, you'll need both of your wooden blocks, number 14, and also four of your long Allen bolts. It's quite simple. You're going to find these holes for the wooden blocks on the bottom rail toward the back of your sides. Very, very simple. You just line up the holes, slide into place, and one, one key note, you want to hand secure so that you don't find yourself stripping any of the threads so you don't have a defective part on your hand. Then you just simply tighten. Once that's secure, you repeat for the next side. And now that you have the wooden blocks attached, it's time to move on to step two, which is attaching the rails to the sides of your daybed. Now for this, you'll need your included Allen wrench. You'll need eight long Allen bolts all four of the wooden dowels, and all four of the post finishes. First, you'll insert the wooden dowel into the pre-drilled hole on the end of the rail, and then simply line it up with the same pre-drilled hole on the side of the daybed. A uh, quick note for this step, it's a good idea to have a partner with you or some sort of support. Uh, for my purposes, I'm just going to use the included boxes and the packaging as my stabilizer. For the next part, you'll need two long Allen bolts and simply insert in as you've already lined up the holes. Hand tighten to make sure that you're not stripping the threads. And then use your Allen wrench to secure tightly. Moving on with your support boxes in place or your assistant in place, we're going to attach the rail to the right side of the day bed. Take your wooden dowel. Again, insert into the pre-drilled hole on the end of the rail, swing in the right side of the bed, making sure to line it up with the pre-drilled hole. Lift slightly, make sure you're lining it up correctly, and insert. Now with your two Allen bolts in hand and your Allen wrench, you're going to repeat the same process, hand securing. And then finishing with the Allen wrench. It's important to note on the back rail on at least one of the sides that you don't completely secure as you'll need a little give in step three. Moving to the front it gets even easier. I like to preset my dowels in place and with my support boxes or my assistant simply line up the holes Open up the frame a little and slide into place. Then you move to the outside with your two long Allen bolts and repeat for both sides, of course, hand securing, then finishing with an Allen wrench. Perfect. Now, once all four sides are secure, it's time to move on to the post finishes. Simply remove the cap, insert into the hole in the top of the post, and hand secure. When you're finished, do the same for the rest of the three. It's time to move on to step three, attaching the back of the daybed to the sides. For this step, of course, you'll need your trusty Allen wrench and the final four Allen bolts. To secure the back panel, Simply line up the holes with the pre-drilled holes in the back panel. And for this, I've enlisted a partner. 
So we'll lift, move into place, line up the holes, insert the bolt, and hand secure to hold. Once all four bolts are secure, and the support rail is secure against the side as well, it's time to move on to step four, attaching the support leg to the support rail. Quite simple, you'll need your three support legs and your support rail. Now before you insert the support leg into the support rail, there are a couple things to note. As always, don't force the thread. You definitely don't want to strip this. Second, you'll see that there are two sides to the insert. You want to push into the flush side, the wrong side, the right side. As you can see, there's no need for tools, and once you're finished, you repeat the same step for the remaining two. Once the final leg is secured, it's time to move on to step five, which is placing the support rails on the support blocks. For the back support, the one with legs, you'll find the notches cut out in the blocks on the side, line them up, and simply set into place. To place the front rail, make sure that it is vertical. Find the notches in the blocks on the sides of the daybed and simply set into place. Once you're done with that, you're ready for step six, which is placing the deck rails. For step number six, you'll need a couple things. First of all, your not included Phillips head screwdriver, all 10 of your number two wood screws, and Casey's actually made the spacing very simple for you for these deck rails as they've attached them quite convenient. Now with your tools in hand, first of all push through the pre-drilled holes in the rail and make sure that you align the screw with the pre-drilled pilot hole located in the rail. Once the final deck rail screw is in place, it's ready for a mattress and it's time to enjoy your KC Daybed.